Alright, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Sumo for 4. So today, guys, will be predicting the leagues outside the top 5 leagues. Okay, so they'll be my predictions. Now, I've chosen like around like 10 leagues to discuss. You know, these are like the 10 most high profile leagues, not in the top 5. Of course, there will be a top 5 league predictions videos in the coming days. So, if you guys did enjoy, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And yeah, we're gonna get started with the Eredivisie. So, my predictions. Who would I think, which team do I think is gonna win? I have, it is PSV. I think PSV, for me, I was really, really impressed with them. And I feel like they're going to bounce back. And I feel like the addition of Ricardo Pepe is something you needed. You know, finally get a striker to replace um, Cody Gakpo. And even though they've sold some players like Matuweke and etc., I do think PSV is going to do it. Now, Feyenoord, for me, they're going to come close. I think they're going to miss out. I feel like, for me, Feyenoord, the big loss for them is Kochu. And I think that's a huge, huge loss for them. And I just feel like they won't be able to compete as well. And so they're going to fall short. And, you know, obviously being the defending champions, there'll be pressure upon them to perform. And I just think they're going to fall short. Then third I have is AZ Alkmaar. Um, even though they didn't lose some big players, they obviously lost Reinators to Milan. I think they'll still have enough to do it. And fourth I have is Ajax. I think Ajax is really starting to regress. You know, they sold Timber, one of their best defenders. And they obviously let Tadic go, terminate his contract. So, yeah, I feel like for me, Ajax is going to really fall off. So those are my Eredivisie predictions. Let's move on to the next league. Which we have here is Liganosh. Will Benfica do back to back? My answer is yes, they will. I think Benfica will do back to back. I think Benfica really strengthened the summer. They brought in Di Maria, you know, and I think that's a big, big signing, you know. And they also um, brought in another big, big player. I forgot his name off the top of my head. Young, talented player. I think it's from the Copa Libertadores. And yeah, very, very good. And then obviously. Um, it's amazing. Now, I am concerned, though, that they are going to likely lose Gonzalo Ramos to PSG. That transfer is going to be imminent in the next few days, I say. And, yeah, I think for Benfica, they're going to do back-to-back. -back. Porto, I think, will do second place. I think they'll have enough. Even though they haven't lost any key players, I feel like Porto, for me, haven't strengthened. Oh, yeah, Benfica, they got Kochu from Feyenoord. That's a big, big player, I forgot to mention. As Sporting CP, I think they're going to do it. Um, they got a new striker in the summer. You know, and I think that's someone that something they needed because one of the big concerns I have with Sporting, especially in the Europa League, is that they could they were not clinical in front of goal because they were really good against Juventus, and honestly, they were the better team against Juventus home and away. It's just they were not they were really really bad in front of goal, and that's what let them down ultimately. And the fourth I have is Braga. I think Braga will still do it. I just feel like Sporting and Porto are just a bit better. Okay, next up it is the Belgian Pro League. Let's see what ha I predict here. And finally, I have Union SG. Union SG, man, they got to win this league. They got they recruit they recruit so many good players, and I feel like this Union SG team is such a fun, fun, exciting team, man. They're just an exciting team to watch. Even though they did lose one of their best players, Victor Boniface, to Bayer Leverkusen, I think this Union SG is looking great. The second I have is Antwerp. I think Antwerp is still looking great, solid as usual. I just don't think they'll be able to defend their title. It's very difficult to do, and I think Union SG will do it. Then I have third is Club Bruges. I think Club Bruges will bounce back. But not quite enough to finish in the Champions League, I believe. And then fourth, I have his gank. So, yeah. Let's move on to the Scottish Premier League. So, here are my predictions for the Scottish Premier League. SPL. I think Celtic will obviously win it. I mean, this team is ridiculous. Even though they did lose on their manager, um, Angie, I think is his name, to Tottenham. They did get uh, Brent Rogers, which I think is great. And the second half is Rangers. I think they'll do it. Third, Hart, and fourth, Hyperion. And then now we have the Austrian Bundesliga. We obviously know which team is going to win this league. And that is obviously RB Salzburg. And then I have LASK in second place. I think LASK will bounce back. Strom Graz, I think, has been great. Then Austria Wien, Rapid Wien, and Wolfsburger AC. To round off there. Then we have the um, Serbian Super League. And I'm going to go with um, Red Star Burgery to win it. I think Partizan will bounce back and get second place. They were really, really disappointing last season. I think they'll bounce back. Third, I have TSC. Then fourth, I have Kukuraki. And the fifth, I have Raniki Nish. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his names correct. So, yeah. Then the Turkish Super League, guys. I am going to go with the Turkish Super League. I'm going to go with Galatasaray to, of course, win this league. They're just too good. And then I'm going to go with Ferran Bocci to get in second place. I think they have a great squad um, and everything. And the third, I'm going to go with Istanbul Başakşehir here. And the fourth, I'm going to go to Besiktas. Okay. Then we have the Ukrainian Premier League. Okay. So first, I have Shakhtar Donetsk. I think they'll do it. 
Um, they're gonna win it, of course. They still have a great squad. Second, I have Zero Pro One. Third, Dynamo Kiev. And fourth, I have Zora Lunisk. Okay, um, sorry, I think I skipped some. There we go. Uh, let me go back. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, Czech Republic League. So, then first, I have Slavia Praha. I think they're gonna um, do, do it, you know, after not winning the last season. And then Victoria Pleasant. And this third, actually, Slavia, I think, won last season. Yeah. Second is Victoria Pleasant, third is Prague, and the fourth is Slovakia. And then I have for the Danish Super League, I have right here first is Copenhagen, second Bronby, third Norwich Zealand, and fourth AGF. And then finally, the last league we have here is the Croatian Football League. And obviously, I have Dynamo Zagreb to win this league and Hatrick Split at second place. And then third is Reich. So I hope you guys did enjoy this prediction video. Like I said, guys, I'm re recording this one in a bit of a hurry, you know, a vacation and everything. So it's not the best quality one. I hope you guys did enjoy. And remember, guys, let me know your predictions for the leagues. And I hope you guys did enjoy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos and member streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.